Alright, what's up guys? I just saw something very surprising and very ugly happening in Singapore that I need to share, especially if you are always on Facebook. Not only are there many scammers on Facebook, there are also many Lao Chi Go Pek. That is dirty minded old man trying to get fresh young women. So this is why I found out a Singaporean old man got caught in an ad showing his chick to a woman over a video chat and the video is now leaking around. This old man, I tell you, very sibe, lao kui ya. Many old ape, old uncles in Singapore are just like that. On the surface, they appear to be very gentlemen. But to all girls out there, you better be careful. I warn you, those men, even though they are old, they still can get erect. Don't judge any man by his look. They could be very erratic. Hmm, I mean erratic in their mind. You don't know what is in their mind. They can be very chico ah, dirty minded. So back to this Lao Dikope, he was literally exposing his old chichik, showing to a woman on a video call without any shame. And then a woman made a video recording of his shameless chichik. What is this old man doing? He should just give a woman what the woman wants to shut herself out from leaking the video. Or he should lodge the police report. For this, I think getting the police may not be a good idea because he has to admit to the police that he is really a Lao Chico Pek. <laughs> so this is how he went about. This woman connected to this Lao Chico Pek on Facebook by using Messenger to chat with him. So the Lao Chico Pek saw her pictures. Woo! So beautiful, man. Until he become more Chico and his saliva almost drool. <laughs> he accepted her friend request and then they went into a video call. So the woman asked him, Wanna see my body? So Lao Ti Gopet said, Yeah! Then the girl said, I show you mine, you show me yours! So the Lao Ti Gopet, <laughs> Oh yeah! So he showed her his little chick chick, with a cheeky smile. <laughs> and that's how it ended! She recorded everything to blackmail him. However, he was unwilling to give in to her blackmailing, so the woman started to leak the videos out to some of the Facebook users. <gasps> That's ugly. Obviously, this woman is a scammer. When they look at the profile, there are not so many photos about her. And her bio, surprisingly, is a male. This was why I always block them when they send me friend requests. Do you think God is so good to us? I'm not handsome, I'm not rich, and I'm not even a celebrity. Some people even say I'm bui bui jen jen, like a pig. Why will any beautiful girl want to get close to me, huh? So what I do is block, block, block. See no evil, hear no evil. However, this Lao Ji Gobe is either too confident of himself or the pandemic has caused him to be so boring to fall into this kind of Lao Ji Go trap of this scammer. Is it necessary for him to be like this? There are really so many videos on the internet with beautiful girls and he could DIY himself to solve his erection problem. Is there such a need to do a disgraceful thing in front of a video call? So men out there, regardless of how low you are, my purpose of this video is to tell you not to be so chico. If you really need to be chico, then don't show your chick chick on any video call. It's really meaningless. Moreover, video calls are not safe. The reason is that there are many hackers around on the internet monitoring us. Nevertheless, the ironic thing is that this Lao Chi Gopet could blame it was the hacker fault and he was a victim. Does he think we are really that stupid to believe him? Yes, now you can do with hackers or anyone photoshopping on him based on his claim. He is himself to be blamed for being too chico. The video has already shown how shameless he was. If he were not that so chico, this kind of thing wouldn't happen. In this regard, what the scammer did was straight blackmailing. So to all my friends using Facebook, please block them. See no evil, hear no evil. Do not be in delusion that they are really interested in you. Especially during this pandemic, many Singaporeans and the old men have gone very erratic. The famous Gelam brothers are close. No more KTV, no more Hanky Panky Masters Palace. And this is the reason why they could be easily lured into this kind of scam on social media. Thus, in my humble suggestion, I recommend our Singapore most famous red light district, Gelan, to reopen for men so that such a thing will not happen easily. And more loudly, Gobe can be happy. I'm happy too. Therefore, the Gelam business in Singapore is so important. Do you see it? Do not look down on this business. Moreover, it's legit and 
honorable. Not only could he help deter crimes, but also fulfill the needs of many logical mindset. Right? Don't leave down your comments, subscribe and share. Bye.